Okay, so we have a carpy or carp uh, caught today. It is more than like required, including the head and tail. We are going to gut it and then de-head it. So the best way to gut a fish is to look for its rectum. And you'll start at the rectum and work its way down. Jacob had this planned where Does we would have the dullest knife ready. Hey, I sharpen that. <laughs> no, carpi are very bony. They are bottom feeders. So they sit at the bone bottom most of the time. And we are not working with a very sharp knife, so it makes it hard. Sorry, trying to split it in half, kind of? Um, on a typical fish that are not too bony, they are soft belly from the jawline all the way down to the tail. But this fish is very bony with a dull knife. It is very hard. Oh. All right, so from here, you can see inside First, let's start up here. We have the gills. So these are like the little filters. They filter out air through that the that's the bubbles that's found in the water, and that's where they get their oxygen. And in here we have the guts. So we'll take them out. So it's showing the heart. <laughs> um, <laughs> fish don't have a heart per se. Okay, that's they what are. Done. Neurological, so they have a closed system like frogs. So, without oxygen, they die because oxygen is their main thing, it they can't breathe out of water. Okay, to take the head off, you usually go right underneath the gill. But this fish is hard as a rock. Because we froze it in the sink. <laughs> um, so, okay, so typically you can leave the head on. Cook it just as it is. We've already gutted it. It's clean on the inside. Um, so what can you eat? Can you just, you, you can eat everything on the fish is edible, except the bones. Where can you find the bones? Bones. <laughs> These fish come with bones that go all the way out through the meat and through the fins. So every fin on the body has a bone. These ones are softer because these are what move them around through the water. See the mouth of the fish? That's the mouth, and you can actually go through the gill and right up through the mouth. They do have a row of teeth right here, but it's more like sandpaper, so they can't bite you, they can't cut you. Um, would it be just like a pinch? It wouldn't be even a pinch. It would just be a grab by... It would kind of feel like how a baby it, grabs your finger. It would be kind of like how your lips grab your finger when you lick your finger. Um, these fish, as you can see, 
when they're closed and then when they open they come out that's how they grab their food they reach for it and suck it in they don't even have to move an inch they don't even have to move if they don't want to oh, so it's nostrils it's like a cup. the nostrils are not used for breathing the nostrils are pinholes used for sensing food so because I do not have a sharp knife and the fish is very bony, we are gonna cook it as is. But we are going to scale it. You know, you can scale it first. Again, it's easier if you have a steel scrubber. So like a sponge, but it's all steel wire woven into itself it just comes off really easy but that is the scale put it in the light maybe you can see it's like a fingernail actually let me focus back up a little is that fair yeah it's a scale it's okay. supposed to be um But you can just run the knife the wrong way up the scales. If you have a sharp knife, it works better, of course. And the scales do come off. The more scales you can get off, the better, because the scales, they don't soften when you cook. They're just like a bone. Look at these scales. You imagine dinosaurs had those. Had those. Most of them did. Yep. Even the ones who weren't aquatic, they had scaly skin to protect them. This is simply cleaning a fish, getting it ready to eat. Um, I've never worked with carp, but cleaning the fish, it's the same for everything. So that's why it looks like I'm having a hard time, because I am. This is my first time cleaning a carp. Um, I grew up cleaning uh, trout, uh, river, lake trout, um, the other types of fish, and most of them a lot larger than this. This actually will take a little bit longer because, again, I have never cleaned a carpy or carp, and it is clearly with the wrong tools, takes a little bit longer to do. So we would basically, as you can see halfway through the fish, here, this is without scale, it's soft, it's tender, it's the fish skin that you can eat this. Some people will even go as far as to eat the tails. They crisp up really nice. These ones are bony. I probably wouldn't eat any of this or this piece here, but the tail, you could eat that. So is that how you know uh, all the This is how you can tell if the scales are, are off is because obviously it's a different color and it's not slimy anymore. It feels like meat. Um, and then you repeat the same on the other side. Then you rinse it really well until you don't feel any more fish slime, which comes from just being in the water. And then you'll cook it however you'd like. Um, but next video we'll have a sharper knife and all the tools we need. And maybe even a different fish. That's how you clean carp. Or carp. Well, thank you. Mm -hmm.